Are you looking for a powerful Android device? Something that is powerful, cheap, that has a distinct build quality, an HD screen, good call quality, wireless charging, and all the Google services that come with the Nexus device? Then I think LG and Google have come up with something for you. So today I'm gonna to be looking at the LG manufactured Google Nexus 4. And here's my review. Last year, the Nexus device was manufactured by Samsung, and it looks like this year, Google changed up their partnership to LG, and this thing is built off the Optimus G platform, and you can see that it takes some cues from the iPhone 4 on the back with a full glass back panel and front, and it does feature NFC and wireless charging. And the wireless charging is built in, no plates or any of that. The Nexus features an 8 megapixel BSI Sony sensor with an LED flash that takes 1080p video, and on the left side, you will see the volume rocker switches. On the bottom, you will see the microphone and the USB port for charging and data connectivity. And you will also see screws on either side just in case you need to take it apart or that you want to do some repairs to the device. And on the opposite side, you will see a pronounced power button that is easy to get to. And you will see a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top with a noise canceling microphone. And you will see an oddly placed speaker that is on the back that is completely flat to the back. And it definitely has its disadvantages, but it gets the job done. Now the most distinct thing about this Nexus is the back panel. And the back panel has this awesome pattern design that is hidden in there. And you can see that when the light hits it a certain way, you will be able to see all these pattern dots in the back. And it looks really, really cool. You have to see this in person for it really differentiates the Nexus 4 versus all the other phones out there. And you will see that when you're in the dark, it just looks black. But when you put it out to light or the sun hits it, it definitely sparkles out there. And it's definitely different. So I suggest that you would check it out in person. And on the front, you will see a HD front-facing camera, and you will see the large earpiece that sits above the handset for phone calls. And in addition to the latest Nexus devices, you will see a pulse LED notification light, and you will be greeted by the 4.7-inch IPS Plus display. Very, very nice display. You will see no capacitive buttons for this is stock Android. You will see your software buttons there for multitasking, home, and back. And it does take up some of the screen real estate unless you're watching video. This 720p screen overall is fantastic. You will love the color replication, the good viewing angles, and you will definitely not be disappointed with the sharpness of the screen. Now, compared to all the other devices out there currently, the Nexus is very well on size. It's a 4.7 inch device, so it's kind of in that mid-range type of phone since phones have gone ballistic, have gone to five inches and above. And you can see here that it does well on thickness as well in comparison to the other devices today. So don't worry about the size of this handset. Fits perfectly in your hand or pocket. So the best thing about this Nexus device, it comes completely SIM unlocked for GSM frequencies all over the world. It does support HSPA Plus 42 for T-Mobile and HSPA Plus for AT&T. And it comes completely unlocked at the great price of $299 for the 8GB model and $349 for the 16GB model. But sorry, no SD card and no 4G LTE. Well, supported 4G LTE, that is, but we really won't get into that. But that 4.7 inch screen looks fantastic, and it runs Android 4.2 very, very well. And you can see here that Android 4.2 is very, very snappy. It does have some quirks and bugs here and there, but for the most part, Android 4.2 is very, very, very fluid. And the touch response is fantastic on the Nexus 4, and you will definitely not be disappointed in this operating system. And you have Google Now here. It works fantastic, and it is something that you will definitely, definitely enjoy is the Android experience on the Nexus 4 because you do not have any kind of overlays whatsoever. You get all these updated tweaks here, just like your shortcuts here that I like that you can swipe down with two fingers, and you go right into the settings, and you can see the Android version here is 4.2, and you always get the updates early, early. 
So we can't talk about anything else until we talk about call quality. And I think that the call quality is pretty good on this phone. Pretty distinct and pretty good earpiece. And definitely performed better on HSPA Plus 42 on the T-Mobile network on the call quality. And I found that the AT&T network for me in my area is good, but it kept dropping signal where the T-Mobile version, no problem there on that SIM card and faster data on T-Mobile as well. But really, in the end, the speakerphone is disappointing. I really don't think you're going to use the speakerphone much on this. Very tinny, doesn't sound that good, and I would definitely not use the speakerphone. But you can see here that these speeds are on HSPA+. Plus on the T-Mobile network and you can see it tops out around 12 and goes to about 7 or 9 megabits per second down where AT&T only got about 3 to 4 megabits per second down. But overall the handset quality is definitely passable and what's awesome is you can make a phone call right from your lock screen right there and I don't think you'll be disappointed in the call quality at all. This is the only handset that's probably running Android 4.2 as of this moment unless you have a rooted or a custom ROM but you can see that the camera interface is very, very cool. You just swipe right from the lock screen. And if you just put your finger anywhere on the screen, it brings up all the shortcuts and settings, which is very, very awesome. Really, really cool interface on the camera. I like it a lot. And you can just hit it traditionally on the right corner as well. But the camera performs very well. And yeah, Photosphere is pretty cool, but I don't think you'll be using it a lot. This phone, though, does shine when you watch videos on it. Those software keys go away. Very, very cool, very vibrant screen, and if you put it up to full brightness, it definitely looks really, really good. I think that you'll really like watching videos on this. So I was finding myself watching a lot of YouTube videos and web browsing, and you will definitely like this screen. So if you're a video watcher, you will definitely be happy with it. Now, what is silly is I'm going to show you the design of the speaker, and it's pretty stupid because it's flat on the back. So if you put this flat on a surface, you'll notice how the sound just degrades immediately. 6.1 so that is great all you gotta need is a computer windows or mac an iphone or a ipod of your choice or the ipad which is great and i have an ipad mini right here which i'll show you how to jailbreak that as well and show you two different things on an iphone 5 and an ipad mini. i wish the speaker was placed differently but i just wanted you to be aware of that flat design so if you watch videos with your phone flat on the surface it will definitely degrade your audio sound being an Android device, all your Google services are here. What's the weather like today? Today's forecast for Spring Hill is 62 degrees and mostly sunny. Google Now for Android is awesome. But Play Store is here, and the app selection on the Play Store has gotten so much better. It's definitely caught up with iOS, so you should not worry about the app selection whatsoever. And of course, you have Google Plus integration here. And Google Plus looks very, very good visually. This is their Facebook competitor, so you have Google services right on board. I'm starting to warm up to Google Plus, so it's pretty good. I really like the interface. Their mobile interface is very, very nice. And your Gmail experience is always, always good. Best email client out there on a mobile platform. And you have Google Maps with turn-by-turn -turn directions, probably the most accurate and the biggest database out there for Maps. So you will definitely not have problems with Google Maps. And the GPS lock is pretty good on the Nexus 4. This device is being powered by a 1.5 GHz quad-core Snapdragon S4 Pro system on chip. And has the Adreno 320 graphics. So you can see here it has one of the fastest mobile graphics on the market today. And it definitely handles graphics very well. And let's just take a look at some of the gameplay here on Dead Trigger. You can see it's extremely smooth. The frame rate is really, really good. And probably anything that you throw at it, it will play it unless it has an Android 4.2 compatibility issue for it does happen sometimes. But you can see here, look at how smooth the gameplay is. It plays really, really well. And I think that if you're playing through a lot of gaming on your Nexus 4, you will not be disappointed whatsoever. The Chrome browser is pre-installed here on your Nexus 4, and Chrome Beta has been really, really good. It runs very well on the Nexus 4. They keep building it out and giving you updates, which is very good. So over time, I think I've already gotten about three or four updates on Chrome Beta, and it runs really, really well on the Nexus 4. So let's just load up a website here, and this is running over T-Mobile's HSPA Plus network. 
and you can see here that the loading time is pretty quick and the browser is very responsive. The pinch to zoom is pretty good as well. So I haven't had much trouble with Chrome here. I think beta is much faster than the Chrome build that's out right now that's on the app market. So definitely go ahead and get the Chrome beta and I think you'll be definitely pleased with it. Now the music here, it's using the stock Google Play music program and it's pretty good it works pretty well and the only thing that I've noticed so far uh, the speaker is actually pretty good when you're playing music or media but once again on the speakerphone it doesn't sound that good but also on the headphones I guess it can sound a little louder on the headphones I'm not an audiophile or anything but I definitely noticed a low output on the headphones so be aware of that when you're buying the Nexus 4. The Nexus 4 also features NFC, so you can see you can collect NFC tags and share photos and share contacts and everything like that wirelessly, which is great. And it features the Qi standard wireless charging built in. So the keyboard is also improved on Android 4.2. Typing is great on the Nexus because of its screen resolution. It's a little bit wider, so it definitely fits the keyboard a lot better. And you got swipe-like functionality now baked in right into Android 4.2, and it works pretty good as well. As you can see on this demo, I'm typing, and I think you will really like typing on the Nexus 4. It's got a great screen, and the typing is a joy on the Nexus 4. In conclusion, I think the Nexus 4 is a great phone. It's cheap, it's extremely powerful, it's got an awesome screen, and it's got stock Android 4.2. That's enough to probably sell the phone right there, and it's got a decent 8 megapixel camera as well that you can take good photos with, and it's got wireless charging baked in with the Qi standard, but the only thing is that the battery life is not that good on this device. I could not push it through a full day. I was probably recharging it by 6 or 7 o'clock at night, but uses vary for sure. There's no micro SD card expansion and no LTE support around the world. So that is a big deal for most of these carriers now and most people are used to LTE speeds over the air. So I definitely recommend the Nexus 4 and it is an awesome, awesome prepaid option since it works on Straight Talk and all these other prepaid carriers. So go out and buy it. Please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this review. Check out my other videos and I will see you very soon.